Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Kayla. I am a fashion reseller on the Poshmark app, and I'm also kind of moving over to eBay and Mercari as well. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys all of the things that sold fast for me in the month of January. So all of these listings sold within one week of me listing them on the platform. Most all of these are coming from Poshmark because that is where I spend my most time and energy. However, I've been getting a little bit better at also cross-listing all of my listings at Mercari at the same time that I'm listing those on Poshmark. So I do have a few items that actually sold right away on Mercari instead of Poshmark. So I did want to include those as well in this video. Also at the end of the video, I will give you a little bit of a breakdown and kind of share with you how many listings I listed this month as well as how many I currently have listed in my closet and just kind of like the percentage of those items that, that sold very quickly to anything pretty much else. So without further ado, I'm just going to jump right into this. I went ahead and wrote everything down in the order in which it sold. So I'm going to be starting at the beginning of the month. Some of these items I have mentioned in some of my other videos. I did a couple of what sold over the weekend videos this month. And I highly recommend if you guys haven't checked those out, that you go check those out. Because it will give you like a better sense of how long some of the other items are taking in kind of comparison to this. This is just going to be like the comprehensive list of what sold under a week. So the first item that sold under a week in January was a Wow Fox I Love Camping. This is one of those items that I did talk about in one of my other videos. I really love picking up these Wild Fox jumpers. So I did accept a best offer of $32 and so my earnings after the Poshmark fees was $25.60. This particular item only took me three days to sell. The next item that I sold in under a week in the month of January was a Zara Coppery Rust Crew Neck pullover sweater. I thought this was very unique and very pretty. I did accept a best offer of $21, so my Poshmark earnings after the fees was $16.80, and this again only took me three days to sell. The next item that sold in my closet in under a week in the month of January was a pair of American Eagle Outfitters black distressed Tom Girl jeans. I really like picking up the American Eagle jeans. I like the jeggings, like any of them do really well, especially if I can pick those up at the bins. Um, so this one I accepted a best offer of $20 and so my earnings after the Poshmark fees was $16. This particular item only took me five days to sell. The next item that sold for me under a week in the month of January was a Nike Heather Gray hoodie. Now I used to pick up a lot more Nike and Adidas. I think it used to do a lot better than it does for me now. I still do think that both of those are very popular brands and they are sought after but you just have to pay a lot of attention to sort of the style of the items that you're picking up. This was an example of something that was a good style and so it sold very quickly for me. I did accept a best offer of $30 for this item and so my earnings after the Poshmark fees was $24. This item only took me two days to sell. The next item that sold for me under a week was an American Eagle Sheer Bell Sleeve Top. I went ahead and listed this item both on Poshmark and Mercari at the same time, and they both got a lot of interest. Over on Mercari, I offer free shipping for a lot of things that are under a pound just because the selling fees is half of what they are on Poshmark and the shipping for things under a pound is only $4.25 so usually it's about the same cost for me to list it as free shipping so somebody did pick that up over there. So I sold it on Mercari for $19 after the free shipping and the Mercari fees. I took home $12.85 and this item only took me one day to sell. The next thing that sold under a week in the month of January was actually again something that sold for me on Mercari. So this was a Hollister and Disney tank. It had the Mickey Mouse ears on it with an American flag on it. I thought it was very very cute. I thought it was going to take me probably till summer to sell closer to the 4th of July but it sold very fast for me. I actually have this listed I think at like $17 or $18 but someone messaged me and told me they had some type of Mercari coupon or something. I, I've never heard anything about it, but she actually asked me to raise it to $20. So of course I did, and after the Poshmark fees, I earned $13.75. That was kind of strange. That's never happened to me before, but I am not complaining at all. And that item only took me two days to sell. The next item that sold fast for me over the month of January was a King Deer 100% cashmere sweater. Like I mentioned before, I picked this up 
solely based on the fact that it was 100% cashmere. I didn't see any flaws with it. It took me four days to sell this item. Somebody did make me an offer of $20, and so after my Poshmark fees, I took home $16. The next thing that sold for me quickly in the month of January is from a brand that I don't normally pick up. It was a Lucky brand Ginny Thermal Tea. I think that the Lucky brand clothes are very cute, but in my experience, they just don't sell well for me. They usually sit in my closet forever. I usually don't pick them up. I usually don't recommend to pick them up, but this specific style of shirt I had sold in my closet before, so I went ahead and give it a, another chance. This item, I accepted a best offer of $15, so my earnings after the passport fees was $12, so it doesn't sell for a ton. Um, so also keep that kind of in mind. This particular item took me five days to sell. The next item that sold for me in less than a week in the month of January was a pair of American Eagle men's acid wash jeans. I picked these up because I wanted to see if the men's American Eagle jeans do as well as the women's and from this experience, I think that they do. So I accepted a best offer of $16 on these jeans and so my earnings after the Poshmark fees was $12.80 and these jeans only took me one day to sell. The next item that sold for me was again another men's item. This was the Lululemon Men Discipline Pants. I love picking up Lululemon pants. I think that that is one of like my favorite things to sell right now. Um, this was listed at $75, somebody bought it outright, so my earnings was $60 after the Poshmark fees, and this again only took me one day to sell. The next item that sold for me in under a week is from a brand that I look for religiously whenever I go to a thrift store or the bins. I always keep my eyes out for this brand because it does very, very well for me. So it was a pair of Dansko Fanny Mary Jane wedges. I sold a few different style of Dansko shoes. They usually sell fairly quickly for me and at a good price. So these ones I accepted a best offer of $40 and so my earnings after the Poshmark fees was $32 and this pair of shoes only took me two days to sell. The next item that sold for me in less than a week in the month of January was actually a crossbody purse so this purse was from Lily Bloom it had like this mixed media mixed print um, detailing going on to it I thought it was really cute I didn't know a whole lot about this brand I've since done a little bit more research on it but I picked this up at the bins and so I got it for very very inexpensive it weighed next to nothing and it looked like it had never been used um, so I thought that that was probably also a contributing contributing factor into why it sold so quickly. So I did accept a best offer of $12, so my earnings after the Poshmark fees was $9.05, and that took me only two days to sell. The next item that sold for me in under a week was actually something that was in my death pile. I took a while to kind of sell it. It did have some marks on the backs of the heels, and so I just, I didn't want to sell it. But I finally got around to selling it, and I went ahead and listed it on both Poshmark and Mercari. It was a pair of Hudson dark wash jeans. I had it listed for $30, and it wasn't under a pound, so I think the shipping on it was like $8. Somebody asked me if I would offer them free shipping on Mercari, and so I went ahead and did it, just because I had already been holding onto these for a while, and I was excited that they would be able to move so quickly now that I had finally listed them. So after the Mercari free shipping and their fees, I took home $19 for these pair of jeans and these only took two days to sell. The next thing that sold for me in under a week was again another Lululemon item. This is a great brand to pick up if you can find it. So this was a sweater. This was called the Yin to You sweater. It was just this pullover chunky knit sweater. I thought it was very cute. I did accept a best offer on this item for $50. So after the Poshmark fees, I earned $40 and this took me one day to sell. The next item that sold for me in under a week was again another pair of American Eagle jeans. These were the Super Stretch Jeggings. I sold these for $18 and so my earnings after the Poshmark fees was $14.04 and that was a, a best offer. I think I had these listed at around $20 and this item took me two days to sell. The next item that sold for me under a week in the month of January was another item from American Eagle. However, this was a top from American Eagle. This was from their Soft and Sexy line, which I love their tops from the Soft and Sexy line. They have shirts, they have tanks, and I always pick them up. I personally really like to wear them. They're very like soft and cozy, and other people seem to look for those items as well. I did sell this item on Poshmark for $14, and so, after the Poshmark fees, I took home $11.05, and this item only took me three days to sell. The next item that sold for me in under a week was a pair of Free People Busted Knee Skinny Jeans. I love picking up Free People, but it is a very hit or miss brand. I recommend 
paying close attention to the style of the items that you're picking up. Some things don't sell well at all and some things sell faster than you can list them. These particular pair of pants I did offer to likers. I think I had them listed for $40 and I did $35 with discounted shipping. Somebody did accept my offer, so after the Poshmark fees, I earned $26.50 and this particular item only took me five days to sell. The next item that sold fast for me in the month of January was a loft cowl neck long sleeve tee. I did accept a best offer for this item of $13 and so my earnings after the Poshmark fees was $10 and five cents. I was a little bit worried about picking this item up because it was so plain, but it was something that I picked up at the bin so I knew I could sell it for a little bit lower. And Loft seems to do really well for me, especially if I can get it at a lower cost. And this particular item only took me two days to sell. The next item that sold for me in under a week was a Cabbie asymmetrical zip moto jacket. Now this actually was the older tag Cabbie. It was like the flatter one. The newer tag Cabbie, which is the one that pretty much everyone recommends you pick up, is the square tag. I've heard a lot of people say don't pick up the older tag. However, this was fairly inexpensive and I really liked the style of it. I thought it was very cute and it did sell for me. So it was like a risk worth taking. This actually sold in a bundle, so it sold for approximately $30. It's kind of hard to say because this was in a bundle, and this did sell for me in about five days. The next item that sold for me fast in the month of January was probably the fastest selling item of the entire month. It was a pair of Torrid Stretch Angle Skinny Pants these reminded me kind of of leggings, but like a step up. They looked nicer than regular leggings, and they were definitely thicker than most regular leggings. I thought they were cute, and they would do well. These sold within, I think, like an hour. I had listed these for $25, I want to say, and somebody offered me $20, and I went ahead and accepted that. I was happy with the profit on that, so my earnings was $16. And again, for an hour to have that listed, that is great. The next item that sold for me in under a week in the month of January was a J. Crew green and white striped tee. Now this item did sell in a bundle, so it sold for about $15. Again, it's kind of hard to exactly say because you're kind of grouping other things within that bundle. And this item took me seven days to sell. The next item that sold for me under a week was a Mod Cloth Navy Polka Dot Sheer Top. I thought that this was so cute and it got a lot of likes on it. I did do offers to likers for $18 and $1.50 discounted shipping on Poshmark. So my earnings was $12.90 and this item took me seven days to sell. Mod cloth is a little bit newer to me. Um, I just started picking it up, but the things that I picked up have done pretty well for me so far. So I'm enjoying this brand. The next item that sold fast for me in the month of January was a pair of sandals. These were from Madden Girl. They had these like floral patches, kind of like this denim look to them. I thought they were so cute. They were new without their original box or tags or anything like that. And I did do offers to likers on this item. I had them listed for 25. I offered $22 with $1.50 discounted shipping. So my earnings was $16.10 and this item took two days to sell. With the whole offers to likers, I did want to kind of quickly mention something because I've been doing something that has been really, really working for me and that has been to send offers to likers about once a day. I was doing it about once a week and I was offering a bigger discount and sometimes free shipping with that. But what I've noticed that has been working, I think even a little bit better than that is to do it once a day. Just even if it's like 10% and discounted shipping, I feel like it lets the buyer know that I am willing to negotiate on the price. I think that some people are afraid to send out an offer because they are afraid to offend the seller. I have, I've noticed that some sellers get very, very offended with offers. Um, so by me doing that, I have noticed that even if it's not right away that they send a counter or they accept that offer, a lot of times they'll come back and send me that same offer back or send me something a little bit lower and I'm able to kind of work with them there and I and I do think that that has made a world of a difference in my sale just kind of wanted to mention that to you guys since it's working really well for me but anyways moving back to what sold for me in the month of January the next item was a J Crew director pencil skirt it was just a solid black skirt this retailed for quite a bit and when I looked at the comps they seemed like they did pretty well there wasn't a whole lot of them so I went ahead and listed this on the higher side at 65 which I think I may have eventually been able to get just because of the specific style 
However, somebody offered me $45 and I didn't want to be greedy and I would rather just get it out of my closet. So I went ahead and accepted that offer. And so my earnings was $36 after the Poshmark fees and that item only took me three days to sell. Moving on to the last item that sold quickly for me in the month of January, I sold a pair of Mark Fisher Cork Wedge Peep Toe Heels. I thought these were very cute. Now when I first originally listed these, I think I looked at the comps fairly quickly and so I thought that they would sell around $45, which is where I listed them. However, somebody made me an offer of $25, so I went ahead and looked at the comps again just to be sure that I didn't price those way too high. The comps were literally everywhere. Uh, some were selling for like $10. There were some that were selling around $40 to $50, but there was a lot that was like between $10 and $15 and $20. I don't know, it was, it was, there was a lot that were lower, so I went ahead and decided to accept this offer. So my earnings after the Poshmark fees was $20, and this item only took me three days to sell. Now that I have broken down the specific items that sold in under a week in the month of January, I wanted to give you guys a little bit more stats on my closet and kind of how I run my business for the month of January, just to give you a better frame of reference. So right now I have about 425 active listings in my closet. What I've been working on is really trying to build my closet. I was able to list 200 new items in my closet this month. So that average should be about 50 items per week. I was consistent pretty much the whole month. There was no period of time where I wasn't listing anything at all. I did have a week where I listed about 70 new items, um, but for the most part, I was pretty consistent throughout the whole month. I did manage to sell a total of 102 items in my closet. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. That means that I listed about twice as many items as I was selling, which is kind of where I want to be at. Of those 102 items, 25 of those items were the ones that I just mentioned to you guys that sold in under a week. So 25% of my sales for the entire month of January were ones that I had just listed, which makes me feel actually pretty good. It makes me feel like I'm picking up the right things and things that will flip quickly for me, which is what I personally want in my closet. So yeah, I, I guess I learned a lot in January. I think that is going to be very helpful for me in the upcoming months. I think it was a great start to the new year. Let me know down in the comments below, kind of like what are some of the things that you accomplished in the month of January in your own closet. If you did like this video, please be sure to leave me a thumbs up and until next time guys, bye.